Wraith. Wraith. Oh, hey, 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 Allison. Huh? What? It's me. It's Jack. Okay? Oh, Jack. Oh, my gosh. You okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I, I was, uh, I was just dreaming, but... Yeah. Hi. Hey. It's good to see you. <laughs> Your face. <laughs> it's good to see you. <laughs> hey, uh, I wanted to tell you that he came by. Who? You know, Rafe. Rafe came to see you. He did? Yeah. Well, why didn't he stay? Well, I, I told him that you had just fell asleep and that you needed to get some rest. What? Yeah, now, Allison, that, listen to me. The most important thing is your health now and getting you back on your feet. I know, but... Hey, I... hey, all I'm doing is trying to help you. Jack. It's okay. Listen. Listen to me. I know that... I know that you're really trying to help, but please... Don't interfere again, okay? Please just... Don't interfere when it comes to me. Now, now listen. I already told you once, boys. Nobody's looking for trouble here. Hey, Not hey. today. What's going on here, huh? Huh? You two punks got nothing better to do than go around messing with my mom? Because if you mess with her, you're messing with me, all right? Relax, guy. We're just yeah, leaving. Yeah, leaving. Yeah, leaving. No kidding. I'm get lost. Oh, thank you. Oh, my gosh. I think they were just kidding. What, what happened? Are you okay? Oh, I'm fine. But you, you were so sweet. Uh, do you two know each other? Uh, uh yeah, sure. Uh, uh, this is Ricky. <laughs> he's, um, he's, uh... Gabby's brother, Ricky Garza. Oh, Ricky, I'm sorry. Forgive me. Listen, are you, are you sure you're okay? Look, I heard two guys have been going oh, around. Oh, no, I'm fine. And it's just a glorious 4th of July, isn't it? Kevin's back, and Allison's feeling so much better. Lots of reasons to celebrate. Oh, yes, and if I don't get the hot dog buns that Victor forgot, we'll never get started. <laughs> Are you sure you're OK? Oh, I'm fine. I'll be back before you know it. And thank you for playing you're cavalry. Welcome. That was so sweet of you. He called me mom. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you later. See you. So. You kind of stumbled around introducing me. I'm sorry. It was Frank's mom. I guess it's going to take some time until it comes out easy that you're my date, my new boyfriend, <laughs> my lover, my uh, fabulous new lover. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. How's it going, man? Frank. Rafe! Where are you? Libby! Dad! Hi! Hi, what are you doing here? Uh, it's the 4th of July. We're having a picnic. I left you a voicemail. You did? Yeah. You are, uh... I didn't check it. Well, you're here anyway, so... Yeah, I'd, I would... I would really love to celebrate that, but... But what? I can't. I'm sorry. Honey, what is it? And where's Ray? He's not here. Uh, well, good. Actually, I wanted to talk. About you. And Ray. Do not swing her too high. Keep an eye on your sister, okay? okay. Bye. <laughs> Oh, this is going to be the absolute best 4th of July in the entire history of 4th of July. I've got my dot back, and we're all together, and it's going to... Rafe! Oh! Hi! Oh, what are you doing? Are you here all by yourself? Kind of. I just had to get out to think a little. Maybe uh, figure things out? Or have you already? Nope. But, you know what, it's, it's good to know I have family around, even though I don't remember them. <laughs> I know, you do, though, really, Rafe, you do. I mean, I, I'm family, and those two little girls over there, they're your family, and we just want to help you any way we can and, and be with you. So if you if you want to ask me anything, anything at all, go ahead, feel free, anything.
here, what? Sit, sit down. Okay, uh, I'll tell you what. Go ahead, fire, fire away. What, what, what kind of questions you got there? I don't know where to start. Um, okay, why don't we start with um, maybe your marriage? Oh, good. Let's jump right in. <laughs> um, well, I know Livy loves me. I mean, really loves me. No matter what else she's done, I know that's true. Oh, well, goody for Livy, but come on. How do you really feel? How do you feel about her? I don't know. It's hard to be sure of anything when such a huge chunk of my life is just, well, it's, it's not there. Right, but I get the feeling that you sense things and feel things about certain things, like maybe Allison? Well, see, that, that's funny. I mean, I, I saw her face in my dreams, even when I didn't even know her name, and I just felt like I had to find her, always, and I, I didn't know why. I'll tell you why. Because, Rafe, I have never seen two people more in love than you and Allison. And I believe that is why you couldn't stay away. Yeah, but, but I'm, 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 you know. I know, you're married to Livy, but you belong. Was he here? I mean, I can still get uh, him. Uh, uh, you just need to lie down, okay? Last time you did that, you ended up flat on the floor. But, uh, just chill. Jack, how am I supposed to, like, just chill when Rafe, he came to talk to me and he stopped by to see me and you sent him away when you know how badly I want to talk to him? Allison, Rafe is married. He's I married. Okay, and he doesn't even remember you. Well, I can help him remember. I mean, listen to me. Come on, you have... I've sat here and watched you chase this dream for months now. You and Rafe. And the guy hasn't even lived up to a damn thing. Well, he helped me wake up. That's something pretty huge. And then he walked out the door. He left with Livy. <sighs> listen, I know that you think you're trying uh, to so help me. I know. No, listen to me. I do. You're, you're trying to protect me. But don't. Okay? I don't need you to protect me. Not from Rafe. I'm your father. If we can't talk about what's going on, then... What... Oh, honey. Daddy, I don't know what to do. Everything's so messed up. It's gonna be all right, honey. God, I've missed you so much. I missed you, too. I'm back, okay? I'm back. I know you've been through an awful lot, but... We can make a difference there, together. We have to be completely open with each other, okay? So, when Lucy told you I'm, I'm some sort of a monster, that I did all these horrible things to Allison? No, no, honey, no. It's just you and me. It's nobody else. Honey, I'm your father. I don't care what you might have done or what you might not have done. Whatever the truth is, you're my daughter and I will always love you. No matter what. No matter what. same people we're gonna bump into each other it's that easy huh I'm not saying I'm happy about it but I've got to accept it right I just want the best for you Karen for you too at least I learned a big lesson you break something there are consequences and this would have happened if I hadn't flipped out but I did I just don't want you to feel like you've got to hide now not from me or anyone else so, no hard feelings. Yeah, no hard feelings. All right, then. See you around. See ya. Not really over for you, is it? Just tell me the truth. Trust me. I do. Jack. 
trust you. That and, and the truth is, it wasn't me. I don't know who set Allison up, but I wasn't even around for for most of it. I, I was with Rafe. Okay, honey, but what what about Rafe? I mean, no one seems to have known about this special relationship you two have. It's because we didn't want to hurt anyone. Not Jack or Allison, and I certainly didn't want you thinking that I was cheating on Jack. Oh, honey, why didn't you just tell me then? Because it just happened. Dad, we just, we fell in love and got married. It just... So where is Rick now? He's so confused. Dad, there's so much he still doesn't remember. Honey, I could work with him. No. No, no, Dad, please. He's got a thing with doctors ever since the first doctor disappointed. And I, I, I think he just needs some peace and quiet and love. And that's what I can give him. I can make this right because I really, really do love him. I know you do. But I also know how much damage has been done to all of us over the last year. Maybe I don't know why we have to go through so many strange events, but it's taken a terrible toll. And you don't believe a word I'm saying? No, no, honestly. I am saying that whatever phenomena comes our way, our lives are still about trying to find that one person that we want to spend our life with. But the only way to do that is to be completely open, totally honest, or else it doesn't work. I just want you to be happy. Rafe makes me happy. Dad, he's, he's my husband. Can you just be glad for me? Please don't be like everyone else. Happy. Please, Dad, don't ruin it. Don't take Allison's side against me. I, I just don't want to see you get your heart stopped on again. No. Jack, I'm really tired. I think that maybe you should just go home, okay? Yeah. Yeah, I just I just think you deserve the best, that's all, you know. But yeah, you're right. I um uh, gonna head on home. I'm sorry. You get some rest, right? No, but Rafe's remembered everything now, have you, sweetheart? Leaving you and coming back to Earth to find the secret love. My true love. Yeah. So anyway, we just wanted to come by to say bye-bye. Bye, Allison. Goodbye. Allison and I were, were meant to be together. How come when, when I look at her, I, I just, I, I, I don't remember anything about a relationship. Not, not, not what she likes, what we like, anything. Okay, okay, I, okay. Um, I hear you. Maybe you, maybe you just need to spend more time together. I, I tried to see her, but her friend, Jack, he was watching over like a pit bull, said, I'll kill you if you <laughs> hurt her. I, well, what's that about? I don't want to hurt her. Well, I know, I know you don't want to hurt her, but you've kind of hurt her as much as anybody could hurt her. See, she loves you so very much, and now she's got the man that she loves doesn't even remember okay, her. Okay, okay. What, what if, um, I'll just talk to you more, and, and you'll send me pictures. Uh, and, no, and, and, no. And I, I gotta I, do you that. Know, and, no, we, we could talk together. I could talk till the cows come home. But that's not what's gonna happen here. You, you maybe need to just talk with Allison. I think the two of you together need to figure this all out. But are you sure that that's what she really wants? Ray, she's been waiting. Since the moment you left, all she's been doing is waiting for you to get back. Of course, I have feelings for Frank, just like you still have feelings for Casey. Yeah, but Casey's gone, Karen. She's out of my head. That's why I saw you staring at her picture last night. Because, hey, it's okay. I mean, we've both been in love. There's no reason to pretend like we haven't. 
Yeah, but after what Frank did to you, he hey, get you whatever Frank did, he apologized. Yeah, but ignoring Listen, it. I, I just want to remember the good times, okay? Besides, it's a holiday. Picnic, fireworks. All right, all right, I got it. And good friends. So, what do you say, Garza? Time to make our first public appearance as a couple. You ready? Oh, man, am I? Mm. I will follow you anywhere. Mm. 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 Come on. Bye. Yankee Doodle Dandy. Hey, I... what do you know? Little Miss Yankee Doodle. Ah, what you got in there? Just buns? Too bad. Better have something better than that. <sighs> okay, more little please. Miss. Have fun. I'll give you another Don't dog. go out of my sight, though, okay? <laughs> All right. <laughs> ribbit, 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 ribbit. All right. Hey, oh. What's, what's wrong? Are you okay? Well, I'm not sure. I just ran into Libby. Oh, and she um, stuck to her story. She's my daughter. I want to believe her. I know. I, I know. I, you know, I'm going to say something really uh, a little far-fetched here. Um, I don't think that we can fix all this right now. Excuse me? Uh, I know. Usually I'm the meddler and the fixer, and I want to get my hands in this one. I think I could really work on, you know, and figure out, but... <sighs> Doc, we have been so much and I, I just think maybe it's time for us to be a little selfish are you a pod person that's <laughs> saying lucy what are you talking about no i'm, I'm talking about us Doc, we almost lost each other we almost lost us so i think maybe we need some time just to relax and enjoy each other and so i plan a little trip trip where to london i, I, I really want to take rebecca's portrait and hang it next to pages next to all those ancestors you know Oh, you mean closing a chapter? Yeah, please. I'd, I'd like to close that chapter and start a whole new one. So I thought the girls could learn, like, pointing their pinky at tea time and everything with the British nanny, and then maybe, I don't know, you know what I mean? We could kind of maybe explore each other's everything. Hmm. Well, that sounds good. really, really yeah, good. Know, yeah, it's just... Um, I know, Livy, but hmm. listen. She's a big girl. And I think maybe this time she needs to solve her own problems without our help. Please, can we go to London, please, 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 please? Sounds irresistible. Once you finally hear the truth, this will all start to make sense to you. Will Liza get caught in Trey's trap? Watch what happens coming up today on All My Children.